Okay, welcome back to more Let's Play Lock and Chase Blind. Uh, in the last one, we made it uh, this far, which is actually... What is going on? Oh, so you can hit start, and then... I was trying to unpause the uh, the game. But I was, like, clicked... Um, I was, like, clicked, like, um, like off the game or whatever. Uh, okay, so... But, uh, yeah, in the last one, uh, we ran away from cops and collected money off the ground. And, uh, I think we're gonna do that again this time. You know, like, why why does dude have such a big giant hat? Is he compensating for something? Like, the, the sprite is, like, 50% hat. Okay, shoot, we did it. Oh, uh, it must have been nice. Back in the day. Oh my god. Why? Why did I do that? No! I was say it must be, like, nice, like, back in the day. Before, like, there were cameras everywhere. I couldn't even outrun that guy? Come on, man. Where you could just, like, rob a bank. And if nobody's, like, if you were, like, masked, then you would just, you just, if you got away, then you just got away. <laughs> Okay, you know, I like this song. It's uh, nice and upbeat. Oh, I forgot about the um, the little uh, Witch Jam. I don't know, even from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. But uh, it turns out they do actually serve a uh, purpose. It would be nice to know which door leads to where. That way you don't just spawn on top of a popo uh, guy like I did that one time in the in the uh, last episode. God damn it! Wow, game over. No. Oh, by the way, the save state um button it's the same as on the Super Nintendo. Oh, you get to start at five two. So then, what's the punishment? I guess. I guess the um. I guess the punishment is uh. You just have to start the level over again. I thought it was gonna put you back at like 5-1 at the very least. So overall, that's a uh, nice, generous, it's very generous of the game actually to not make you go back a whole, bu uh, a whole bunch. Did, uh, did Super Mario Land have um, continues? That game only had four worlds, so you could beat it like quickly. So you could get, you, like even though, even though if you like lost progress, you could go back. The game itself was only like, what, like a half hour long? If you like ran through it and didn't die too much? Yeah, the only reason I mention that is because, um, yeah, this is the first, uh, this is the first like Game Boy game I played in like forever. And uh, first game I, first Game Boy game I played on this, uh, on a Game Boy emulator. I remember when I was a kid, um, like, uh, I, I borrowed, or I don't exactly know how I, I wound up with it, but my mom had this church friend, and um, he loaned me his Game Boy, and he had Super Mario Land and Gradius, Gradius or whatever, on the Game Boy. I played Mario Land, I think some, but dude, I played the fucking shit out of uh, Gradius on the Game Boy. I got super good at it. And I'm pretty sure at one point I had the game, I had the Game Boy for like a ridiculously long time. And then at some point, he, like, I don't know if he thought he lost it or forgot that he loaned it to me. And I think he ended up just saying that I could keep it. You know, I actually don't 100% remember. I think he did, because I did. I do remember playing Pokemon on the Game Boy. But then I got, I got a Super Game Boy. And then all the Game Boy games. And then I would, like, buy Game Boy games to play on the Super Game Boy. So I don't think I actually, other than Gradius 3 on the Game Boy, I don't think I played, like, an actual Game Boy that much. I think my, I think my uncle had a Game Boy and I played, but he only had, like, I forget what he had. He had, I think he had Tetris and Kix, Q-I-X or whatever. So I played that some. And other than that, I didn't play a whole lot of... I didn't, I didn't play a whole lot of Game Boy games on the actual Game Boy. 
when I got to be... Super Game Boy came out in, what, 1994? So when I was like, uh, like 11 or so, I would start buying Game Boy games just to play on the Game Boy, uh, the Super Game Boy. One diamond? What the hell? They're like front-loading you all the currency, just like in, uh, modern Triple H games. Triple A games. <laughs> <It's a> tri <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, for those of you that don't, that don't know, I accidentally said Triple H. That's a wrestler. It's a wrestling reference. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, it's funny. Actually, I made um, I made a wrestling reference to my roommate the other day, and he like I made the reference, and he like didn't know like that I made a reference. So I was like waiting for him to like respond, and he like didn't respond. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. You don't know. Any, you don't know like anything wrestling related. So any wrestling reference I make. You're, like, not gonna know about it. I don't know, man. It was part of my, like, upbringing. You know, I grew up on, like, the Attitude Era. What the F? Why is that guy so fast? But, uh, if there's wrestling references nowadays, I'm way, like, less in the loop. But anyone from, like, the 90s, like, I'll get, you know. I don't know, man. I just stopped watching wrestling at some point. Like, there was all the people that I liked, and then they just started leaving. And then they started being replaced with people I didn't so much like. And then pretty soon, it's like 90% people I don't like, you know? Dude, what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to do that? I can't block them off. I can't block them off from, uh, from that hallway. Wait, why did I? Why was I able to put two uh, jams down? I thought I could only put one down. Okay, luckily the door closed behind him. Do I have to take out both guys before this thing wears off? Oh my god. Oh man, that's hard, man. This is gonna be hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. But, uh, yeah, around the time Kofi Kingston showed up and CM Punk left, then it's like, okay, I'm not gonna stick around for, like, the for like two other wrestlers that I like than everyone else I don't really care about, you know? So I just kind of fell off. I don't know, man, just couldn't get into the PG era, man. Once you go, like, Attitude Era, you can't go back to the PG era, man. Come on, man. And then, like, Shane McMahon. I could be remembering this wrong, but didn't Shane McMahon, like, tease it at some point? He was, like, talking to, like, Stephanie Mc McMahon or something like that. And they, it, was, it was it was a total cock tease. They were like, I feel like... Oh, man, I meant to, to like, grab it and step back. Couldn't do it fast enough, though. And they were talking about, like, they were talking about, like, the company and they're... I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's all scripted when they're talking about, like, oh, we gotta... I think TNA did that, like, too much. Where they were like, we bring it, we're about to bring it to the next level, man. You know, it's like, yeah, how'd that work out? But um, close. Oh my god, I'm toast. I'm super toast. Yeah, dang, dude. But they were like, like I feel like we need some changes around here. Like maybe we need some like attitude and blah. And the crowd went went fucking nuts. Just like teasing that they're gonna bring back the Attitude Era. I'm pretty sure they didn't. I feel like if they were gonna do it, like, I would have known. Then again, who would tell me? It's not WWE's responsibility to like, send me a text. And be like, hey, just let you know, we revived the Attitude Era so you can start watching again. It's like, yeah, but the Dudley Boys are gone, man. The Rock's gone, Stone Cold is gone, man. Edge is gone. Everyone's gone. Like, Undertaker's gone. Mankind's gone. And, like, nobody filled that, like, void. Like, whatever dumb characters. Like, oh, the family. Ooh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Ooh. Like, I literally gave two Fs about any, like, factions. Man. 
Boy, that guy has been has been uh, doing his cardio. Boy, I tell you what. I don't know, man. I thought this game was gonna be like kind of like a walk in the park kind of game based on the first several levels, but it got. Dude, I hit the button. It didn't put a thing down. But it got intense, like, real quick. I was hoping a diamond would spawn right on my face. Oh, but yeah, PG era. Ugh. I'm pretty sure, like, they can't go back. Like, don't, like... The PG era let them... Like... Well, I wanted... Why did, oh, I was about to say, why did the thing appear in the other place or whatever? It appeared in a different place from where I put it, uh, put the thing down, from where I hit the button. But they wanted to, like, appeal to, like, a wider, wider audience. It's like, okay, mission accomplished. It's like you lost all your old fans. Or, you know, most of them. But now parents will let their eight-year-old watch. It's like, yeah, well, what the F are you supposed to do about... How are you supposed to... How are you supposed to do that? The, the diamond doesn't last long enough. Well, I guess we'll keep trying as long as it lets me keep continuing. So it's like once you get such a wide, broad audience, you, like you can't, you can't go back because you'll you'll lose, uh, you know, you'll lose a percentage of the market or whatever. It's like yeah, if like a large percentage of your uh, of your audience is like kids or whatever. It's like, yeah, well, the money they spend is just as valid as a 30-year-old dude. So, you know, business gotta follow the money. And once you appeal to a wider audience, you can't go back, you know? Oh, man. Do I just have to grab, all, grab them all cumulatively? Is it like a Mega Man 2? Wily Stage 3 situation where it's like you don't have to do it all in one. I'm talking about that part where you have to use the crash bombs to destroy the turret jams on the wall. Wait, no. The only pellets in this level are the ones up top. Dude, I don't know how to do this. I don't have a I don't have a Peter Pepper uh pepper shaker. That would come in handy. What was the dude's name from Burger Time? Didn't he have a... Was it Peter Pepper? I forget what his name is. Why did it make a... <laughs> it sounded like a Popeye, like, jingle. Oh, so all the ones on the left. No, I don't like this. Go away! Okay, so I have three lives to grab them all. I mean, oh wait, no, the whole rest of the level does have dots in them. I could have swore I grabbed some of the dots, and then when I died, the two rows along the top, all those dots, like, respawned, I thought. In the end... It didn't even matter that I trapped that one guy. Oh yeah, I still hate that song. I've hated that song for so long that, like, I've just, I always hated it. And yeah, I know it, it like, it always sucks when, like, like, the, like, that dude freaking killed himself. So it's like, oh, now it's kind of like you're shitting on a dead guy's song. He was, like, so depressed that he killed himself. It's like, yeah, it's sad that he killed himself, but it doesn't make me like the song, and it doesn't mean the song is good. I don't know. I guess I've never been... Like, I don't know. I was never a per I was never one to, like, connect with lyrics. You know, obviously there's lots of songs where I like the lyrics, but... I've never listened to lyrics and be like, oh, I totally get what the artist was saying, you know. So yeah, I guess that song would mean would mean more to other people, I suppose. Why the F didn't the diamond spawn? No, another game over. Does the diamond only spawn on your first life? 
Boy, we are straight up cock blocked on this level. This level is not letting us pass. I don't have like a dash. Or like any way to like handle that situation. What are you supposed to do? Maybe I'm close to the end of the game. Maybe that's why it got super hard all of a sudden. So it's like, yeah, I'm sad that dude killed himself, but I'm not gonna pretend to like the song now. Boy, you got nowhere to go. You know, it's the bottom cop that's giving me problems. So can I just... How come I... How come I won't put a thing down? Oh my god. Dude, it was, like, you saw me hitting the button, right? It was, didn't it make, like, a sound effect when I hit the button? Indicating I hit the button? Yeah, when you hit the button, it makes that sound. I was standing right in it. Put the thing down. Okay, so you have to... You have to be walking through it in order to, to put it down. Okay, so that guy's closed off. Is there a way to be, like, strategic about this? Do they go in, like, a pattern? Oh, damn it. I was trying to see if there was a pattern, but it made... <laughs> I forgot that the diamonds disappear. Oh, dirt. I got to go all the way in. There's, like, no way to... Oh, dude! Okay, so he goes down, but he goes back up because normally he bumps into the door, but when the door is open, he goes through the door. Okay, cool. I don't think there's any way to, uh, to lure him out. And then, like, trap, like, 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 trap him. Like, behind me or whatever. To where I don't have to worry about him anymore, you know? Dude, I don't even care about the money, man. I want to live. I want to live. Oh, wait, I forgot. Collect the thing. Are the ones up top harder to get? Wow, I killed him. He respawned right as the thing ran out. And he spawned on top of me and it killed me. Okay, the good news is that as long as we don't F up... We should be able to, between all our lives, be able to do it. Oh, also, by the way, that thing I was talking about when I was talking about Mega Man 2, that, that Wily boss, uh, it wasn't until I was an adult that I realized that you can use item one, like the little propeller. Pl oh, dude, I thought he was going to go to the side. Man, come on, I effed it up, man. That was my chance. I blew it, man. But uh, you, could use the, uh, you could use item one to, like, propel yourself up the little uh, floating platforms to, uh, to save... Crash bomb, your crash bombs. You only get, I think, eight crash bombs. But uh, yeah, whenever I played the kit, the game as a kid, I thought that you, I thought you had to uh, go in, destroy the barriers, lose a life on purpose, and then um, do it on another life. Oh man, I was close that time. Okay, um, we're actually. Oh, I just looked at the timer a minute ago. Yeah, we're over on time on this one. I didn't mean to go this long. Okay, and the next one, we'll, uh, we'll freaking do it, and we'll keep going. So, as always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.